Hello Aquarius. This is your monthly reading. Yeah, I know guys. <clears throat> We're, we are 10 days into the month and I am late I know but I have been working on some other things and yeah I'm here now all right guys so let's see what um, energy we get for you guys for December I will be back within uh, probably three or four days with your mid-month readings so let's see what's going on around you guys currently what's going on around my Aquarius friends currently going on with Aquarius five of swords that's your energy this is feeling like very defensive and feeling like you you, you need to fight um, for what you believe in you need to fight for you know your position you know so let's see okay two of Pentacles here Capricorn energy you guys could be on the cusp or it could be a Capricorn that you guys are dealing with um, two of Pentacles is all about you know having a lot of irons and a fire and you know just trying to keep you know everything afloat at any given moment you know if, if you teeter a little bit then you know everything can go to hell in a handbasket okay so there's a need for some balance here Okay, so I, I, what I'm gathering is that, you know, maybe you guys need to take a look at if what you are really fighting for, is it worth um, the amount of energy you're putting into that? Okay, so there's a need to obtain some sort of, of balance and, and try to work out, you know, what your priorities are. Okay, what is the underlying issue here for Aquarius? What is the underlying issue? Okay, got a lot of cards when it come out here. Underlying issue for Aquarius. Let me see what these two cards are. Y'all's deck don't want to act right today. We have the Knight of Swords and we have the Fool. Hmm. I'm feeling like there's something, a situation that you guys are really wanting to confront. Um, you're standing your ground on what you believe is right. And I feel like the issue here is that and the fact that maybe you guys need to let go a little bit, okay? And not hang on to whatever it is that you are feeling um, angry about or defensive about and just kind of let bygones be bygones and start over, okay? So we have Aries energy here along with yours. Now, a lot of you guys could have Aries in your chart or it definitely could be an Aries individual that maybe you need to kind of like, you know, hmm, you know, just kind of smooth things out with or if not smooth things out with them, just kind of let bygones be bygones and move on for you. Okay? Some of you actually want to move on with this person. But trying to one up um, them in a situation is definitely not helping the situation so um, just keep that in mind okay <clears throat> let's see what was going on in the recent past for Aquarius okay what's this oh okay the star hmm <laughs> your soulmate so and I think I had um, this in another reading yesterday because I'm hearing strongly that somebody was questioning whether or not this person was their soulmate because there's been so many like struggles and butting heads and you know, but yeah, this, this is your soulmate. Okay. This was a path you were supposed to be on. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Okay. So yes. And you're been, you've been fighting it. I see that. Maybe you didn't believe it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Aquarius is crowning thoughts. Ooh, the devil. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of you guys are angry. You're angry. And there's something I feel like... Um, maybe you feel like you guys are too different. Or maybe you feel like you can't get along with this person. Um, there's definitely some... Uh, codependence issue, codependency issues 
um, between the two of you. Maybe you guys fought a lot. You butt heads a lot. Um, I, I do feel like you guys are still kind of angry and there's something that you want to say. You want to get some shit off your chest. You want to let their ass have it. Yeah, I feel that. Okay. Capricorn energy there with the devil. <clears throat> What's coming in for Aquarius? Ace of Wands. All right. New start. Very sexually attracted to this person, too. It's weird. You know, and, and not really weird because that's what happens a lot of times. A person that you fight with, I mean, you know, you guys fight and then you go you go and do what you do and then it's all better and until the next time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. There's a new beginning on the horizon for you. <clears throat> Let's see. How is Aquarius viewing this situation? Three of Pentacles. You want to work things out. Three of Pentacles is all about, you know, just working together, compromising. Um, and maybe you feel like, you know, you've compromised too much in a situation. And that's probably why you are feeling um, uh, in this Five of Swords energy like, I'm not doing that shit anymore. I've done enough. You know, I've compromised enough with them. So, but you're still willing to like give a little because I do feel, you know, this very strong attachment here to this person. Um, you have Capricorn. Aries is very strong in your reading. Um, Capricorn, Aries. That's what I see here. Very cut and dry. What is the influence here for Aquarius? The High Priestess. Piscean energy. Hmm. This is where your heart is. But I feel like you guys haven't spoken. I do feel like um, you guys kind of feel each other. Even if you're not talking, you sense this person's energy. And they sense yours as well. Hmm. There's something that, you know, just constantly keeps you drawn to them. Hopes or fears for Aquarius. Knight of Wands. You want to be able to move on. I, you know, I'm getting that, you know, this, this connection with this person kind of makes you uneasy. Um, you want to be able to move on from them. But you're having a hard time, I feel. You want to be able to treat them like you've treated any other person in the past that got on your freaking nerves. And that's to leave them behind. But it's hard for you to do. Because, again, this is here. And this is why it's so hard to leave them behind, okay? <clears throat> what is the outcome here for Aquarius? Outcome for Aquarius. Okay. Then we have these two cards here. Ooh. <laughs> Still being drawn in. Still holding on. Holding on. You're holding on to this person. Still being attached to this person. Do you see that? Do you see that? <laughs> You're still holding on. You're still attached to them. I believe there's a soul tie here. There is a soul tie here, I do believe. Because it's hard for you to let this person go. Even though you want to move on and leave them alone. But you're still holding on to them. Still very attached and attracted to them. Okay. And again, this is Capricorn energy. Aries. I feel Aries. Um, Aries is very, very strong. Capricorn, very, very strong. Okay, um, could be Sagittarius or Leo, but um, Pisces is here as well. But yeah, all right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.